angels are the light creations of God. It is not possible for anyone other than the prophets to see them in their true form. This is why countless angels around us are busy with their work. But we don't see them. If they come before us in human form, then it is possible to see them. Angels are great creatures compared to humans. And some of them are small and some are big. On the wings of angels. Some of the angels have two wings. And some have six hundred. It is stated in the Holy Quran that all praise belongs to God. Who is the creator of heaven and earth? And two, two, three, three, four, four winged angels will make their messenger, prophet. According to some traditions, Gabriel Ammon, peace be upon him, has been seen on six hundred and each wing encompassed the sky. Different colors and precious pearls were scattered from their wings. The stature of the angels. The angels who carry the throne. Regarding his stature, it was narrated from Annas, R.A., that the holy prophet, P.B.U.H., said, I have been given permission to tell you about one of the angels who carried the throne, whose feet are in the lowest seventh earth and on his shoulders is the throne. There is such a distance between its two ears and shoulders that it takes a bird 700 years of flight to cover it. He says the angel or God is pure wherever he is and wherever he is. The Needs of Angels God did not require marriage among the angels. In this way, they have also been deprived of food and drink. This is explained by the incident of Sayyiduna Ibrahim, peace be upon him, mentioned in the Holy Quran, in which it is said that the angels came to Abraham. So you, peace be upon him, immediately brought meat for them. But they did not eat it. God has protected the angels from sickness, laziness, laziness, sorrow, pain, fatigue, and boredom etc. They are engaged in their work day and night only in obedience to God. It is stated in the Holy Quran that whatever is in the heavens and the earth, it belongs to God, and as many angels as are with him, they neither disobey nor tire of worshipping him. They recite the glorification of God day and night. And they don't slack off a bit. Angels almost always live in the heavens. Those who descend to the earth for various tasks only by God's command and then go back to heaven. At another place in the Holy Quran, this is mentioned about the angels themselves. We do not descend without the command of your Lord. The number of angels. There is no detail about the number of angels. Because God says, no one knows the armies of your Lord except him. It is known from some hadiths that the number of angels is very high. Rather, it is estimated that their number is more than humans and jinn. It was narrated on the authority of Sayyiduna Abu Dar that the messenger of God, may God bless him and grant him peace, said that there is not even a four-finger space in the heavens where some angel does not prostrate. On the authority of Sayyidina Abdullah bin Masood, may God be pleased with him the messenger of God, may God bless him and grant him peace, said, hell will be brought on the day of resurrection in such a condition that it will have seventy chains and seventy thousand angels will be attached to each chain. Who will be pulling it? An important characteristic of angels. An important feature of the angels is that they can take any form other than their own form by the command of God. This situation can happen to any such person. Which viewers recognize. Whether or not angels have the power to take the form of any living being other than humans. There is no clarity or mention about it in the Quran and Sunnah. However, there are definitely cases of them taking human form. From which it is inferred that angels can take other forms by the command of God. Angels came to Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, in human form and Ibrahim, peace be upon him, could not recognize these angels. Then, Upon being told by the angels, he, peace be upon him, realized that these are not human beings but angels. Gabriel Ammon, A.S., came to Sayyidah Maryam, A.S., in human form. And Jibreel Ammon, peace be upon him, visited the Prophet, peace and blessings of God be upon him, in human form every time except for two times. The Power of Angels God has given the angels many times more strength and power than humans and jinns. When the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of God be upon him, invited the people of Taif to Islam. So the people there put an end to oppression and oppression on the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of God be upon him. 
So Sidna Gabriel Ammon, peace be upon him, came to this place. He raised his voice and said that God has heard the words of your people about the holy prophet. What they did against you. He has seen it too. God has sent an angel of the mountains to you. Say what you will about these people. Command this angel. After that, the angel of the mountains addressed him and greeted the holy prophet, peace be upon him. Then he said, O messenger of God, what will you order? I will comply. If you want, I can bring the mountains on both sides together. From which they will fall. Similarly, the strength and power of Gabriel Ammon, peace be upon him, is mentioned in the Holy Quran. They were taught to the Holy Prophet by an angel of great power who is powerful. Discipline of Angels Angels are disciplined in everything they do, in which they do not show any kind of deficiency or laziness and laziness etc. When and where the duties of the angels begin, they reach there at that time and execute it gracefully. Death of the Angels just as human beings have different stages of birth and death. These are not stages for the angels, i.e. new people are born in the world and the existing people continue to die. But on the contrary, when God created the angels. Since then they are alive and will remain alive as long as God wills until the day of judgment is established. Until then, the responsibilities given to them by God. They will continue to fulfill them in a good way. But when doomsday will come, so these angels will also suffer death. Then a time will come when nothing will survive in the universe except God. The same situation has been described in the Quran. All that is on earth is going to perish. Only the self of your Lord who is great and honorable. That will remain. Similarly, it was said at another place that every soul has to die.